one of the common questions that guys have is, how can I start to relax and have fun around women? And the only way that you can actually have fun when you're interacting with women is that you must relax first. You have fun through the act of relaxing when you're around a woman. That is a constant question for a guy. How can I relax? How can I start to meet women and have fun with them? How can I stop being so serious? And they look at guys on the internet, and guys on the internet, they're, you know, they're saying to them, you know, just go out there and you know, add some more playfulness to it and add some more jokes to it or be just a little bit more animated. And all that shit work. But for a man to really step into his own sense of humor, step into what makes him really, really bright and radiant and light when he's around a woman, he's going to need to be able to relax first. Relax into himself. Relaxing into yourself is the way that you're going to be able to come to that place where you can then begin to be someone that has energy. Because when you're tense and inside of yourself when you meet a woman, a lot of times what's all, the only thing that's radiating from you is tension. And she can see that because she's living in energy all day. And the fact that she's living in energy all day, she's more attuned to it than you are. That's why some girls, you go up to them and they can feel your state right away and it makes them become agitated or it makes them become irritated or it makes them become uh, nervous or whatever, even when they're around you, when you come up to them. So the first thing I would say is stop being so fucking serious. When you're being too serious, you completely take away the charm from the interaction. I was with a student yesterday and, no, it was just a few days ago, we were on workshop. And I'm saying to him, <clears throat> I see him in set, and he's just being really, really deep. He's being really, really kind of meditative and very, very, you know, what do you, you know, what do you like to do and why? And that way of being, that's really good later on. But if you go up to a woman right away and you're being that way, she'll become very, very bored with you because you're not bringing any energy to the situation. You're a person that's just meeting her in any, any type of situation. And the fact that you're in that situation and it's new for her, for, her to, for, her, for you to be there and be so deep and to be so fucking serious, that's going to make her kind of recoil. And in that recoil, you're going to think, oh my God, she doesn't like me. It's not that, it's just that she's perceiving what you're doing to be too fucking energy draining. So a lot of times what I see is if you're able to go up and you're able to not take things so serious, relax. One of the main ways you, re you relax is through your breath, being someone that's present to what you're doing. And that allows for things to come through that's naturally you. You can't be naturally you if you're not relaxing around a woman. You actually can't be naturally you if you're not relaxed. When you're relaxed, that's when you're naturally you. When you're unnatural, that's when you're intention, and that's when a woman goes, I don't know who this guy is, I just want him to be his self. His self is naturalness. And naturalness is relaxation within your body. Being somebody that's present to what you're feeling. Being present to the situation that's in front of you. Being present to the woman. When a woman is there, you being present to her, what's going on for her, her internal state, uh, what she's about, what's going on for her, that puts her at ease as well. I notice that when I'm in front of a woman and I'm at ease, this puts her at ease. And in that at ease, that naturalness starts to happen where the man can be himself and a woman can be herself. And when two people are in their natural state, that's when attraction can happen. That's when you guys can have a connection. And every time this happens, that's when a guy starts to have fun. Because now he's starting to enjoy the act of what he's doing, and he's letting go of the woman's response. Because most guys are going up to women and saying to themselves, you know, how do I get this woman to like me? How do I get this woman to see the good parts of me? And that's saying it from a place of tension. And that place of tension, that is what a woman dreads. She dreads when you're coming up to her and you're allowing tension to be the thing that you're, you're portraying because that's not you. For you to be able to portray the real you, it requires you to fully be in your breath, to fully be one with your breath. Your breath, as it's rising and falling, is naturalness. Be natural with that and that'll allow you to be natural within yourself. Then as you're out there talking to women, you can begin to have interactions that are not so flatline. And a lot of times I'll talk about variation. And that's a variation of being able to not be boring when you meet a woman. A woman is actually bored by pleasancy. And a man that's being one emotion the whole time, that's the thing that's going to make her go, oh my God, I wish he could just give me more. I want to express more about myself when I'm around him, but he's not giving me the chance to do that because he's being pleasant the whole time. 
And that's when girls go, I don't know, he was nice, but he didn't make me feel anything. That's because you gave her one emotion when she was around you. She wants to feel many different things when she's around you. She doesn't only want to feel that you're nice, she wants to feel that you can also allow tension on her so she can feel something else. And that's where silence comes in. Being at ease within yourself. And from that silence, a lot of times, that's when a girl goes, he's funny because she's releasing the pressure off herself from him having put pressure on her. And the pressure is silence in itself. And you must love that part. Love the fact that you're there meeting her and fall in love with the act of expressing yourself to the woman and let go of her response for the, in the beginning. As you're saying things, just focus on expressing it. And if she responds bad to it, of course, adjust. The adjusting is where she goes, okay, this man has empathy. He's not just some asshole and he has empathy for me. But if you're just being one way, man, good luck. And I find that when I'm out and I'm talking to women and as I'm talking to them, I allow myself to fully be me. And as I'm fully me, she can feel everything because all of me is not acceptable. All of me is sometimes not even something she likes. But the mix of sometimes being up about you and being down about you, that's what she loves. She loves the fact that you're able to be who you are and then being who you are, that's gonna give her variation. And when a woman feels variation around you, that's when she begins to go, okay, when I'm around this man, I feel many different things. So when I'm around him, I can be who I am. So she attached that when I'm around this man, I can be who I am around him specifically. And that's when shit becomes uh, really, really interesting. That's when it becomes fun. That's when you're able to be there and you can enjoy the woman. And that's when, when girls are saying, I want a guy that's just himself. That means he's, he, he is himself naturally. Now this is very fucking hard. I know it is. It's very, very hard because being able to go out there and meet a woman in a situation where it's not just friendly or it's not, you know, through friends or it's not at some event, it's hard, man. But if you can go out there, meet women in your naturalness, meaning be able to show the part to you that women actually might not accept. There's many things about you that women are going, ah, ah, they like it, but then they don't like it. And in you expressing those parts and being okay with that within yourself, even if the girl doesn't like that, you'll have fun with it. Even when girls are acting bitchy or a girl is not giving you something right away, if you're having fun within yourself and you're letting go of her response, that becomes the joy. The joy comes from you expressing yourself. The joy comes from you being able to go up to her and be in your natural state because your natural state is sexy. Your naturalness about you is attractive. The attractive part about you is the part about you that you're most afraid of showing women. Maybe you right now, you're like, mm, I don't think so. But that's the truth, man. The part about you that you're the most afraid of showing is the most attractive part about you. And like I've said in my other videos, who you are lies behind only all your unexpressed feelings. But if you can allow yourself to express the things about you that you may feel a, a resistance to express, that's what's gonna give you the joy. Because what it really comes down to is why are you in this journey? Why are you going out there and meeting women? Why are you going out there saying hello to them? This is what it really comes down to. And most of the times when you're going out there, you're probably going out there so you can get the girls to like you. And you're like, you know what? There's something that that girl's gonna give me that I don't have, so I'm gonna go out there consistently until I get it. And then when I get it, that's where neediness come in, when you start getting attached. You start texting too much. You start hoping that, oh my God, she shows up for the date. And then when she's on a date, you're like, oh my God, I hope we have sex. And in a way of doing this, that's when you run into the issue of not being who you are. And being who you are, it's not about just going out there and trying to take things from women. It's all about sharing. And in that sharing, you'll get all your joy from that, and a woman will enjoy that, and she'll appreciate it that, she'll appreciate, appreciate that as well. You have to forgive me, I'm really tired because I was out, you know, doing infield and I've been up, you know, grinding all day, like I am in most of my videos. She appreciates when you're sharing, not when you're taking. That is the difference. She's not used to guys sharing, she's used to guys taking. And that, that is the thing that uh, makes a woman goes, go backwards with you. And if you can just stay with the, the act of expressing yourself and focusing on that, she will begin to experience all of you and that variation will naturally come through that process. This is Tony Solo for The Natural Lifestyles and I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. 
I'm here in Barcelona on a Monday, and if you want to do coaching with me, one-on-one -on -one coaching, Skype coaching, or coaching with me and TNL team, go to naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page, put in an inquiry, and later on this year I'll be doing workshops in the U.S. where you guys can coach one-on-one -on -one with me so you can get this part of your life handled. I love you guys, and I'm out.